Hydro Corporation is an air separation company with over 600 million in annual sales. The company isolates gases such as argon, oxygen, and hydrogen from the atmosphere and then distributes them for industrial use. On July 4, 2013, a government mandate branded asbestos, a health hazard, and demanded its removal from all public buildings causes the company to lose some sales. When the board of directors looks for a certified fraud examiner, they hire me, Jean Earl. And it all started at the party set by my employer. As I sampled the drinks, I had a small talk with the controller of a construction firm that had done several jobs for Hydro Corporation. But the small talk was more than what I bargained for. I'm gonna be frank with you. Your bid process on your asbestos work isn't fair. Really, huh? What's the problem? Well, if you look into it, you see that all your works follows this certain salesman. Who are you pertaining to? Oh, come on. I know that you know who the person I'm pertaining to. Tad Fergosa, for crying out loud. He works for different companies, but no matter who he works for, they always end up getting your contract. Where he goes, Hydro Call Business follows. Now, that's too wet to flu if you ask me. Tad Fergosa is a sleazy bag. What is a sleaze bag in these circumstances? Well, you can play any definitions you want and it'll definitely describe this guy. He does it all. I wonder what the controller really means and why should I keep my eye on Mr. Tad Ferguson? When I get to my office the next day, I start looking at the asbestos abatement projects. I have learned that what I have ever counted on could not be counted on. So I start my investigation at the most logical place to begin with, the purchasing department. Bid files were in a mess. I found precious little documentations of anything. Competitive bids had no verification, and safety compliance forms were either missing or incomplete. The disorganized files did not tell much of the story. It looked like the work was being done, but not to the value we were paying for. As for the bid rigging fraud, I could not tell if my source accusations were true or not, but I find Mr. Tad Ferguson's name on several key papers. Actually, finding the abatement companies was the next hurdle because the work is so sensitive, wed with regulations, and always a target for lawsuits. I had a hard time getting a clear picture of the various companies and their operations. It is a nightmare trying to sort through different layers of ownership and subsidiary to find out where the company actually is, who is authorized to handle bids, approve bids, and oversee the process, narrowing down the list of targets. I called one of Mr. Ferguson's old jobs and got nothing. Mr. Ferguson had been there. He was gone. End of story. Later on, I received an email from a manager of a company who is actually bidding for Hydro Corporation jobs. Miss Earl, if you want to know more about Tad Ferguson, meet me at my place today at 2 p.m. here in Dasmarinas, Cavite. I'll be waiting for you, Miss Earl. Let me go straight to the point. When what happened when Mr. Tad Ferguson worked here? When Ferguson came to work for us? Yes. He told us he had hydrocon in his back pocket. Like he was going to be able to get your business, regardless of who he worked for. Really? Did he tell you how he's going to do this? I didn't really want to know. I'm having a hard time believing that. But Mr. Tad Ferguson was working for somebody else. What did you have to do to get on working with him? He made some concessions and commissions. Were those pretty lucrative? They were substantial. But how was Mr. Ferguson say he was going to get our business for you? You were going to buy some service. Something called a travel evaluation report from your client manager, Mr. Ben Butler. Mr. Ben Butler? Butler's sister has some kind of travel agency. We were going to purchase this evaluation from her. How much is that? $10,000. And how did you pay for that? 
with a check. One check. One check with the amount of ten thousand dollars. Do you know this evaluation report? Actually, I didn't know what a travel evaluation report was. Moreover, we never got anything from the travel agency. That's so awkward. But did you get the job? We got the job. But I did not want to work the business this way. My company has been shafted twice on this business project. Besides the upfront money, Todd Ferguson's 19-year-old son was put on the construction payroll, though rarely, if ever, showed up for work. I had something here that I think might help you. After that meeting with the manager, I go to the bank specified on the check and had a sample conversation with the bank officials about authorized account signatures. I found out that son and fan travel did not belong to Butler's sister. Mr. Butler himself was the primary owner. Back at the plant, I talked with the people on the operations office where the construction bids were processed and they all knew Mr. Todd Ferguson. And then I approached the purchasing clerk and asked him about a few questions. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Miss Jin Er, the CF of the Hydro Corporation. Please sit down. Thank you. How may I help you, ma'am? I'm here to, about the, to ask about the bidding process for our construction site. What about our bidding process? I was just to ask about, how was your bidding process for construction in our plant? Our plant manager, Mr. Ben Butler, handled the nuts and bolts of the construction bid himself. Mr. Butler himself? Yes, ma'am. Oh. But did you take part in the construction bid process? I did some of the paperwork, but it was him who was giving me the numbers, and I just did the bid sheets. So, how was your transaction with Mr. Tad for Gosling? For anything with Mr. Tad? Yes. It was, it was Mr. Butler who handled that personally. Is there anything that I can help you with, ma'am? No, that's it. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Finally, I have now the evidences. It is time to meet the salesman. Mr. Ferguson, that's me. Good day. This is Miss Jean Earl from Internal Audit. I would like to talk to you and ask questions regarding some matters. I'll be seeing you at the coffee shop near our office this 7 p.m. Jean Earl, CFE. Service from 
travel evaluation report from Sun and Sun. No. You don't remember. Travel evaluation report, sir. You don't remember. I don't remember any travel evaluation report. Really, sir? Yes. Are you sure. okay, Mr. Ferguson? Yes. I am fine. Thank you. Because it felt like you needed to take a bath after I left the room. I got itchy on that interview. It seems like Mr. Todd Ferguson is suffering from severe amnesia. Nothing but smirks and denial from the charming Mr. Ferguson. But there wasn't anything I could do about it. So my last chance is Mr. Ben Butler. We would go out, have lunch, go to a couple of street joints, nothing out of line, but after a while, we'd be talking about different informations, and I'd give him tips on doing some jobs. And then eventually, I fell trapped. I think I was giving for Dawson more information than he should be seeing. I was crossing technical lines, so to get out of this, Ferguson and I set it up. I would provide inside information as they were let out for bills or adjust Ferguson's price in accordance with the numbers the company is using. And Ferguson would make sure that this current employer would take advantage of this. Mr. Ferguson, this is to inform you that you have been dismissed from your position as company salesman. We will be giving you the rest of the day to pack your things up and leave the company premises. The case is closed and I have kept my eye on the salesman.